so now let's start with the first technique okay that is the new lead generation strategy to ensure constant lead flow for your preschool okay now when i say leads okay i want to first talk about or i want to first understand or make you understand what is a lead okay the schools that we work with okay in most of the cases when we say a lead or an inquiry they assume that this particular lead is if we have given them a lead it's going to get converted into an admission okay so that's not what a lead is okay so i have defined what a lead is so a lead or an inquiry means contact information of a prospective parent who might be interested to enroll his or her child in your preschool okay so who all agree with this right when you generate a lead or an inquiry if that person has inquired in your preschool okay i'm sure he has in, even inquired on two to three other preschools uh, competitors in your area right and then once he has done the inquiry it is then your job to ensure and to convince that person so that he enrolls his or her child in your preschool agreed yes so now that we all know or we have defined the the i mean what a lead or an inquiry means let me talk about how preschools usually do the marketing okay so when it comes to a social media platform say for example facebook or instagram okay what you guys would do is create an admissions open post okay and usually the, these posts are done uh, during the admission period okay like for june july you will start creating these posts in the month of say april may and you will start posting it everywhere okay so the message that you are circulating through this post is very clearly that admissions open enroll now okay and then you put this everywhere you put it up on whatsapp status you put it on instagram status okay you put up a big banner at the on the gate of your school okay but this is the wrong technique okay believe me every prospective parent or every parent knows that if there is a preschool there is ad admissions are 24/7 going to be open there okay unless and until you are such a school wherein you actually have to close down the admissions okay so what i suggest my uh, students is that instead of putting up an admissions open board it is better you put up an admissions closed board okay that's what will actually talk about your brand okay so in fact people will think that if the admissions are closed here that means this school is really doing something great right so but to put up that board you need to close those uh, 100 200 admissions right so instead of putting up these kind of uh, posters on facebook i'm going to tell you a three step i mean uh, this particular technique i have divided into three easy steps okay so the first step is to create a lead magnet okay now what is a lead magnet a lead magnet is something that you you are offering free of cost okay so just to give a few examples your lead magnets can be free online demo sessions free downloadable pdfs free workshops something like this free worksheets which can be downloaded by parents or maybe a free on one to one consultancy or a counseling session with your parents okay now this in the current situation all of this will be online okay like a free uh, demo session would be online through zoom or uh, google meet and similarly a free one to one counseling session can also be done online okay now uh, if i had to pick up one okay from this just to take uh, you ahead with this presentation i am going to take up the free online demo sessions okay uh, let's assume that we have uh, selected a, a lead magnet which is a free online and don't worry i am going to give you all these templates in the end of the workshop okay so you don't have to sit and actually create these lead magnets 
we have made uh, we have like for example free downloadable pdf okay or free worksheets all this thing is already created by us and i'll be sharing the link so that you can simply download all these pdfs and start using them okay so let's take an example of the free online demo session and move ahead with the presentation so once you've created the lead magnet okay you'll have to create an facebook ad creative okay which communicates that particular lead magnet to your prospective parents so now if you see we have uh, created just to show you we have created a, a facebook ad copy or an ad creative wherein we are saying interactive online preschool for your child and book a free demo today okay we haven't mentioned anything about uh, registrations open admissions open no the the only focus is of this particular creative is to reach out to prospective parents and get them click on this ad so that they book a free demo with us and whenever there is a free word okay you will always have people clicking on it just to explore what this is all about right so once this ad is done okay once the creative is done you will have to promote it on facebook okay now when i say promote i am not talking about the regular boosts okay if you are putting up a post and simply boosting it okay it will only reach out to 1000 people instead of 100 okay but there's no way through a boost you can actually collect the database of a prospective parent you can you cannot collect the contact information of that parent okay so don't boost the post the ad campaign that you select has to be a lead generation campaign okay and then uh, facebook will ask so th this is something which we also do for uh, all our uh, preschool with whom we are associated with so just to give you an idea since april uh, till uh, like june mid of Ju uh, mid of july we have been we have done more than 300 campaigns for our preschool entrepreneurs okay those who are associated with us so this is something which we do for you my team will do for you so if in case you are doing it on your own ensure that you are selecting an area of at least a minimum of 2 to 3 miles not more than that select the age group between 25 to 35 years of age okay and then facebook will tell you that what is the kind of leads you can expect with this kind of a selection okay now you will also have to figure out what kind of budget you need to allot for a particular ad like this okay so i have already done the calculation now you if you are spending 15000 in a month on a paid campaign again i am not talking about the boosts okay if you spend even 5000 or 15000 on 50000 on boosts it's just going to increase your visibility but you won't be able to collect any kind of contact information so instead of spending that amount simply spend around 15000 in a month okay on facebook paid ads now uh, if you are spending 15000 you can do an ad for like 15 days with a per day budget of 1000 rupees and you can expect a minimum of around 50 leads okay now why i have considered a per lead cost of 300 rupees here is because this kind of this is a very high cost okay uh, a per lead cost for a preschool is uh, somewhere usually the ads that we had we used to do last year is somewhere between 70 to 80 rupees okay but because of the pandemic situation since last year the ads that we ran okay in the last 3 to 4 months the per lead cost went somewhere between 300 to 500 rupees okay so that's the reason i have assumed this because see the schools are yet closed and i think at least till diwali okay or maybe by till december the schools would still continue uh, online maybe post diwali the partial uh, school reopening will start happening but uh, till december i mean even for the mid term you will have to depend on the social media ads and uh, the online sessions okay so consider this budget if you are not if you don't want to spend this whole in one go you can even split it up into three different campaigns okay so first uh, five days so monday to friday you run an ad by spending 5000 rupees you generate somewhere around 16 17 leads then you take a gap of a week 
you work on these leads and then after in the third week you again start one more ad and so on and so forth okay so these are the two options through which you can actually generate around 50 to 100 leads in a month okay so now if you do this constantly for the next 3 months okay so not next 3 months right now we are in the by in the mid of august okay so right now it's not a very good time to advertise okay as in do a paid campaign you can continue doing the social media organic posting but uh, don't do paid campaigns right now even if in case you want to start the paid campaigns you should be starting it by mid of september okay and then continue it till the month of december so even if you spend around 15000 a month for october november december okay you will be spending around say 45000 on the facebook paid ads okay and in return you would be able to generate at least 150 to 170 leads okay through this now you, if i consider even a conversion ratio of say around 20 percent okay 20 to 25 percent of the these leads you will still be able to get around 35 to 40 admissions converted into your midterm session for this okay now once these leads are generated you will have to download them and maintain it in a excel sheet okay i would recommend using a google sheet okay because if you are using an excel sheet which is on your laptop in in case the laptop is uh, the operating system gets hacked or crashed you don't you lose the data <clears throat> okay so simply create a google sheet so that the data is safe okay why i'm <clears throat> i have specifically taught, asked you to maintain this sheet is because i've seen a lot of preschool owners or the center heads who have these uh, data spread out everywhere okay i'm sure you'll agree with this some of your leads are in a diary some of the leads are in the form of the enquiry form okay some of the leads are saved in your phone okay there's a separate excel sheet which is uh, which you have dedicated only for just dial okay and if there are any walk-ins and if there are any kind of uh, incoming calls you are getting sometimes you are not even saving that those contact details right so see data is going to be your food okay this enquiry data if you are spending so much of amount on leads then you have to ensure that these leads are save properly and there every alternate time you have nurturing them okay so for example you guys have registered for this workshop through a landing page okay you filled up an online form and now i have got you added in an email system okay so you will see that you will keep on getting regular emails from mine okay which would be a lot of value added emails okay so no selling emails but i'll be i'll keep on sending you emails through which you will actually have some thing that you can implement in your schools okay so that's basically called the email nurturing okay so are you clear with these three steps okay so uh, choose a lead magnet then uh, create a facebook ad okay decide on a budget run those ads and then start maintaining these leads okay i am I'm going to talk about what is to be done with these leads. Okay. How to convert them in the next section. Okay. But so far the strategy is that constantly for the next three months, keep on doing paid ads. Okay. And keep on generating a lot of data because data is going to be your food. Okay. So was this useful guys? I mean, uh, if you can just mention it in the chat box, if whatever I have just told you, was it really, did it really make sense? Okay. Was there any bulb on moment in your mind? You can simply put it up in the chat box.